southeast of Barbados. That was as of 11 a.m., but moving quickly to the west-northwest at 25 miles an hour, so making very, uh, very fast forward progress there. Pressure estimated at 1,005 millibars as we go through the afternoon on Monday. Hurricane hunters are going to be investigating. We'll find exactly what the structure of the storm looks like, also what the actual pressure is and the winds are like right now, all of this based on satellite observations, so some inference as to what we're really looking at in terms of a storm. Fairly far south there with the uh, latitude at 10, about 11 degrees north, once again moving to the west-northwest, covering a lot of latitude and slowly climbing in longitude. Here's the future track taking us through Tuesday morning. So the uh, tropical storm approaches and encounters the Windward Islands there in the Lesser Antilles late Monday night into Tuesday morning, moving quickly through the islands there into the Northern Caribbean. And then an encounter with possibly Puerto Rico, more likely the Dominican Republic, and Haiti there on the Wednesday day time frame into Wednesday night, then possibly encountering eastern Cuba by Thursday morning, as well as the Turks and Caicos in the southeast Bahamas as we go into Thursday. And then on Friday, forecast to begin more of a northward turn, and also forecast to weaken, and I'll go into the reasons why the weakening process is expected as we get into the Friday time frame, but it's closest approach to South Florida, probably on Friday into Saturday. The significant wind impact right now, the greatest potential, it's in the northern Caribbean, especially parts of Hispaniola there, as well as Puerto Rico. You can see medium wind threat potential in terms of doing significant impact. We think of significant impact as trees down, power outages, and things like that. So the potential beginning to grow there in the northern Caribbean, provided that it holds together. Here's the uh, latest watches and warnings as, as of the 11 a.m. advisory. Tropical storm warnings in effect for Barbados and much of the windward, as well as Lesser Antilles there. Also, uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines under a tropical storm watch. Tropical storm watches now for Puerto Rico and parts of the U.S. Virgin Islands there. So here are the computer models. Not a whole lot of change, although some of the models that were losing the system, actually uh, having it dissipate, are now keeping it more intact as it is forecast to move up there through the northern uh, parts of the Caribbean into the southeast Bahamas and then through the central Bahamas. The farthest west model at this point is the BAM Shallow, which typically tracks better systems that are very weak. The uh, stronger models are models that show a higher intensity, forecast it to be a little farther to the east. And really, the consensus of the model is kind of right there uh, along the National Hurricane Center's forecast track. Now, here's what's going on, and, and several factors could play a role. First off, there is a lot of dry air that is around Chantel. You can see all this red there, especially very dry air ahead of it. And so far, the low-level winds and the upper-level winds have basically been uh, from the same direction and that's uh, kept Chantel under very little wind shear overall in the vertical. But over time, as Chantel gets farther to the west, it's this westerly wind that's blowing right through here. You can kind of make it out right there, that wind that's blowing there. That and Chantel are going to have an encounter, and that's why the intensity forecast here is for probably some weakening as that uh, wind shear increases. This upper level low here, it's a very slow mover, moving very slowly to the west, so uh, will probably be a player in terms of that, that westerly wind. And then, of course, there's the interaction with the mountainous terrain there of the northern Caribbean. So not a sure thing that Chantel will survive. If it does survive, it's not likely at this point that it will be a strong tropical system in terms of South Florida standards, but certainly something we will continue to watch. And, of course, you can get the latest weather information at cbsmiami.com, where your weather is always on.